the next thing that we will look at is products or services let's click on products from this area you can create the various products or stock items and also the services that you deal with again there are two options first is you can create your products and services manually or you can import them let's look at the first process let's click on create product now in case you're creating products you need to select goods if you're creating services simply click on services under products you have option of creating tracked non-tracked and bill of materials tracked products are usually the ones for which you want to track inventory non-tracked are the ones that you want to let's say buy or also sell or consume but you do not want to track the inventory these are consumables let's key in a name you can specify the barcode as well and you can scan this barcode and key in the invoices or the purchase orders and bills you can key in the description the hsn code we've already added the default hsn codes in case you want to add your own hsn code you can always click on add hsn code the uqc you can define whether the product is taxable or non-taxable in case you are selecting a service you can choose whether tds is applicable on the service or not under the accounting tab you can choose the default purchase and sales account that will get impacted you can key in a purchase price or sales price you can also define the default ledgers that will get impacted whenever you create a sales or a purchase return under itc adjustment if there are any products or services for which let's say rcm is applicable you can simply select rcm from here we will look at these use cases in the tutorial wherein we discuss the purchase under inventory you need to select the unit of measurement the default cost of goods sold account inventory account and stock adjustment account in case you want to define the reorder level you can define the reorder level as well the typical reorder quantity that you want to order every time if there's a preferred vendor you can select that as well in case you want to enable multiple um schema you can enable this and create multiple um schema so this is when you want to have multiple unit of measurements like one box equal to 100 unit or one carton equal to 1000 units you can define the opening quantity and the opening valuation a default warehouse is always selected you can click on save another thing is when you want to define the product sequence number there is one sequence that is pre-created you can key in a manual number or you can create your own custom number format by clicking here you can define the prefix the suffix the separator and how many digits you want let's click on save as soon as you click on save the product gets created now let's see how we can import the products in order to do that let's click on import when you are importing you need to select whether you want to import tracked or non-tracked products or do you want to import bomb products bomb products are the ones that you typically want to manufacture or assemble let's look at the sample file for this we click on next you can download the sample file and start populating it let me open the sample file this is the sample file this contains the same set of columns that were there in the product form you can define the sequence code product name type and various other parameters once you've populated this list you can start importing it let's save this and let's start importing this let's go back let me browse and upload this file the file is uploaded let's click on next on this screen you can again map the columns that are there in the excel with the desk headers once this data is okay you can click on next you again have the option of deciding what happens when you have the duplicate records what happens if you want to update existing records or add new records or what is the behavior that you want in case of invalid inputs all the data is highlighted over here you can view these records in case you want to edit any of these options you can simply click over here and edit this in case there are any invalid records the system highlights them over here 
if the data is correct you can simply click on submit let's click on submit you would notice that the products have been imported if you want to view what is the status for the import file if there are any products that got rejected simply go to settings under settings we have something called as import log all the files that get imported are shown over here let's go back to products so the products have been imported let's also look at bomb products under goods there is something called as bill of materials so if you have any particular product that is an assembly of components you can mark it as bill of materials under bill of materials you need to specify the various components you can start selecting from the various products that have been created how many quantities required per unit this defines the bomb and you can consume this at a later stage to manufacture this product so that is how you create a bomb product